please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And the Bitcoin buzz gets louder as the first futures trade in the cryptocurrency begins on the CPOE futures exchange. This as the Bitcoin roller coaster rolls on with sharp moves on both the directions. The cryptocurrency fell by almost a fifth on Friday by climbing almost more than 40% in the previous 48 hours. So how does the CBOE Bitcoin futures really work? CNBC's Bob Peason gets us a wrap up, gives us all the details. As the price of Bitcoin has skyrocketed, interest in trading Bitcoin futures is also on the rise. So how does this work? The CBO will start by listing three one-month contracts, likely for January, February, and March. So each contract is just one Bitcoin. Market makers will set an initial price for each month and trading will begin. So the January price will likely be close to the underlying cash price. The contracts are traded and settled in cash. So you get dollars. You don't get Bitcoin when you settle. How about the price? Well, there's many different Bitcoin exchanges, but SIBO uses Gemini. Gemini is a digital asset exchange founded in 2014 that allows customers to buy, sell, and store digital assets like Bitcoin. It's run as an auction. SIBO will be waiving all of its transaction fees for the month of December. After that, the basic retail rate is $1 per contract. That's what it costs to trade. So what is the margin rate? Well, right now, the SIBO has a margin rate of 30%. So if Bitcoin is trading at $15,000, you can purchase a contract on margin for $4,500. That's 30% of $15,000. How could you trade Bitcoin futures? Well, you should contract your broker, but so far, Interactive Brokers is the only online broker that has said they will allow trading, but with a much higher margin requirement, 50%. Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and others are still taking a wait-and-see approach, it seems. So will the futures reduce or increase the volatility of Bitcoin? Well, that's the big question, and nobody really knows. Some experts say volatility could spike in the short term amid an absence of sellers, but reduce volatility in Bitcoin in the long run. We'll just have to see. The bottom line is this. Who knows if all this hoop around futures contracts is going to make Bitcoin respectable, but it's a big step toward making Bitcoin a little more open and transparent. All right, let's uh, shift focus to the currency space. The dollar was steady in early trade today, underpinned by expectations of a higher U.S. interest rate, while the Bitcoin sees the spotlight as futures of the cryptocurrency begin trading.